Hey guys, it's great to see you. Today is the first video I've uploaded onto the channel that's actually in 2K. And here it is. And the reason for that is very simple. So a few videos ago, I did a max video setting video to show you just how good a set of Corsa can look. So I wanted to show off some of those settings so everything on this video is still running in max. And also, I just wanted to show you some new PP filters that I've installed. And hopefully there's some filters here that you've not used or seen in the past. So that would be great. Now all the links are in the description on where to download these from. So do say thank you to the modders when you do drop onto their pages. If you do want to know how to install these filters, I've got a number of demonstrations and tutorials on my channel that show you how to do that. And I would be delighted guys in the comments if you can tell me what filters you're using and why you like that filter, that would be brilliant. So here we are then with the Adventador. It's a Kunos car and I've got it in this amazing metallic blue. So this is the sole extra standard filter. Now when I say standard, this is the one that I use that's got all the bells and whistles that Peter designed with Sol and I'm running Sol 2.1.3 and I'm also running CSP 1.75 preview here. So I think Sol Extra still looks absolutely fantastic and this is really my go-to filter so I use it all the time. On most of my videos you will see me using this but let's check out another filter that you may not have seen. So this filter is called Gorilla and it's by Philip. Now I have got the links in the description and this is actually a Discord link. You will drop onto PP Central Discord and there's a number of filters from this video that you can download from there. Right away you can see the differences between Gorilla and Soul Extra. The colors are definitely more muted on here. And the great thing about these filters is it changes all the background scenery, the tarmac, the whole look and feel of the game. Now just to show you what these filters look like, I've actually done some daytime footage and some nighttime footage. So you can see the difference in reflections and how the lights affect the way that the filter is working. This filter was updated in June 21. It's had new tone mapping, new glare, new DOF, and a number of different soul changes and tweaks. So a really good filter, something you may not have heard about before, so that's the Gorilla filter. The next one I've actually covered on my channel before, and that's the Natural Mod, but this is actually the Natural Mod Base, which is a new version of this that's come out very recently. This PP filter is by Chris Kennedy. You can drop onto his race department page from the links below. With the current graphic settings that I've got enabled on a set of Corsa, I think this mod looks fantastic. And it is a real big step up for me from some of the other natural mods filters that I've actually used in the past. At night, it looks just as gorgeous. I love the reflections on this, both at day and night. And I think this color blue really sets off those reflections on this Adventador. Remember guys, let me know in the comments below which one you think is your favorite out of all of these filters that I'm showcasing today as well. I'd be really interested in that. Next up we have the Trower filter. This is at version 2.08 and this is by Trower and apologies if I'm pronouncing your name wrong there. Now I've not seen this filter before. This is a brand new filter on me. I installed it for this video and I'm actually really impressed. I love the way the reflections and the colors pop out on this one. And again, for me, this is one of my personal preferences. I like really bright PP filters. This one is a massive tick in the box for me. Now there is also a weather integration mod that comes with this that actually interfaces with Sol and changes the weather and how the weather looks. A little bit like Horizon Shades if you've used that before. So on this video, I'm just using the filter and as you can see, I've got day and night again on here, but I've not put the weather on there. I will showcase both the weather and the filter together in a future video, so do keep a look out for that. Before we drop on to the last filter on the video, big shout out to all the modders and a big thank you for all the work you're doing, keeping a set of course are looking as good as you do. Okay, the last one is one a little bit from left field for me, and this is quite a new filter. It's called Emil, it's at 0.3.2, and this is by Estelia. Now this one does have recommended to be at 2.1.2 or higher on Sol and 0.74 or higher on CSP. If you get any strange results on any of these filters, I would always double check what version of Sol and CSP you are on. Now I really like this filter. Again, it's a very different look and feel and you can see how it's kind of got that haze look to it. Really cool for different kinds of rating on a set of Corsa. And again, at night time, it looks pretty fantastic. So these are all your personal opinion guys on what you want to use. It's great to have lots of them installed. I think I've probably got about 20 filters installed at the moment and they all work well in different ways. So do check them out and do say a big thank you to the modders when you drop onto their pages. 
how good can you get a set of Corsa to look? Well, I think this looks pretty fantastic. So thank you so much for watching, guys. As ever, I really appreciate all the support. If you are new here, check out the rest of the channel. There's lots more sim racing and a set of Corsa on there. And I'll see you again very soon. See you later, guys.